The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you by Rafter P Construction. Stick around to learn more about Rafter P's design build process and of course, the biggest deer in the world. Well howdy everybody, Keith Warren here and this week Deer and Wildlife Stories comes to you from about 45 miles east of Dallas, Texas. We're at Big Rack Ranch and we're fixing to show you some big, beautiful, typical frame white-tailed deer. The white-tailed deer is America's favorite big game animal, and white-tailed deer farming is the fastest growing segment in the American agriculture industry. Our program's mission is to dive into the world of deer farming and discover why tens of thousands of Americans compete to create the biggest bucks in the world. And by the biggest bucks, we don't just mean the size of the antlers. The financial investment opportunities produced even on small parcels of rural land will blow you away. Join me as we discover how whitetail genetics, deer auctions, animal husbandry, and so much more drive the deer farming industry. My name is Keith Warren, and this is Deer and Wildlife Stories. So how many deer do you have now total? We've got about 350 in the pens. That's including the fawns? Yes, sir. How long have you been doing this now? Tom Swift bought this original property back in 94, and it had kind of an existing breeding facility uh, on it at the time. We didn't know what we were doing back then. We just knew that there was some existing pens. We had the ability to kind of enhance genetics out on his main ranch. And so that's what we started doing just as a hobby back in 98. Um, and it, you know, one thing led to another over the years. I'm so blessed to get to do what I get to do with Tom in the in the breeding pens because it's it's very meaningful to me and to him and you know we we spend so much time with our families and together hunting and fishing out here or, or, or abroad or wherever and it's so fun to get to do this it's so rewarding Tom loves it we get to keep his personal ranch stocked with great genetics there's no place like outside of our deer pens here it's the Big Rec Ranch is simply uh, unmatched out there as far as the, the herd that we have. And it couldn't be done without Tom Swift and John True. We've been coming here, this is the fourth time I've actually been here. And uh, every time I come here, I look at your deer and I'm going through, I'm amazed at how beautiful they are. And of course, everybody wants to look at the bucks, but that beauty really comes from the breeding and from the doe side. People want to know, how does a deer breeder make money? Well, they make money when they sell their deer. And what happens is people come out here to John's place and you know, they see the bucks, but they really focus on the does. And that's what you've focused on for years and years. What anchors all of these bucks that look so great are females. And it's been so fun just adding to that, accumulating those does that are productive, that work, and then just building upon those pedigrees and making them uh, deeper and deeper. And, and it shows in the pens on the production of the bucks. You, know, you, you can tell at, at a glance. I mean, the, the deer here are just just prettier than than most people's deer. Tell everybody in an industry that you know, most of the people measure success by the, by the inches a deer scores. Why did you focus on looks? It just it mattered to us more. We 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 like we don't really care what the deer score. Everybody's got big deer, and we like the pretty ones because that's what the ranch owners want. Also, they don't really care about the overall you know, 350 inch deer, they want pretty deer. Well, everybody's got a different customer is I think the best right. way to put it. You know, in the deer business, uh, you know, you can go to the TDA, for example. John currently is the president of TDA. You go to TDA and you look around the room, everybody's got big deer. I mean, literally, everybody's got big deer. But when you take a look at the Big Rack Ranch booth, the deer are, are different, okay? They're, they're beautiful. Could you imagine doing this without DNA? No way. This is a really important point. People wind up calling me all the time or shoot me an email and say, how important is the registry to being successful as a deer breeder? It is imperative. I mean, it's, it's everything. It's everything. So when you come here to buy a deer, John's gonna show you 
the pedigrees on these animals. Matter of fact, I wouldn't think that you would sell a deer to anybody that you don't show a pedigree to. Right. I mean, you ought to show it to them. You should be proud of it. You are proud that's of right. it. That's right. That's where the value is. And if we're more expensive than someone else, I'm going to show them why that is. Or Absolutely. I'm going to show them why they need to buy this certain deer. And everybody, you know, has makes their own mind up. But I'm going to show them why this deer is worth what it is and, and the, why you're going to get what you want out of it. Yeah, when you wind up seeing the production of these animals, you're going to see why. And uh, just like anything else, you get what you pay for in the deer business. Yes, sir. Okay, I want to mention a buck named uh, Dos Ancho. Yep. Okay. Dos Ancho is uh, he's, uh, he's a legend in the deer industry, seriously. Dos Ancho is very special to Big Rack. He came over as a five-month-old buck fawn, and he changed our world. By today's standards, he wasn't anything that, that jumps off the, off the page, but he was 187 inches at two six by six, just Beautiful. really pretty. But he bred those does and, you know, fast forward three years later, that was when our first Dos Sancho sons were on the scene and they were amazing. I mean, we're, these bucks were better than he was. They all had an amazing look and they were out of does that, that no one would pay $500 for. It was like, all right, if, if I believe in this buck, if he's done this on, on these does that we have here, we owe it to them to really give them the chance to do more. And we knew we had to, to buy better does, does that had a track record of production. And that's what we did. And every year, more and more sons just started piling up in that three-year-old pen. So now you get on the registry, there's over 500 offspring that are in the North American Deer Registry out of Del Sancho. And there's a reason why, because he just flat got it done. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by MVP Whitetails, Dr. Ray Favero's Whitetail Genetics, UVC Power Sports Tractors and Outdoors, Rafter P Construction. For more videos on deer farming, check out the Deer Farming Channel on YouTube. This right here, how old are these guys? These are three. Okay. There are some standouts in here. There's some I mean, ones. there's that guy right there is beautiful. Tell me about him. That's 9111. He is a Dos Sancho son out of Off Limits Mother. So Dos Sancho on Kid Dynamite on Monarch's Full Sister. Yeah, we can show the pedigree and you can see yeah. that just stacked like crazy. Yeah. So three years old. Three years old. He's he's easily probably Dos Sancho's biggest three-year-old son he's ever had. It's so fun seeing the traits that he has. He has a lot of the monarch trait with this kind of double row mm -hmm. tines up there, but he's he's outstanding. He's he's a phenomenal buck. For those of you looking at him, think, well, he's really not that typical, but he is typical. Yeah, really. I mean, he he is typical. He, he's symmetrical. He's got both some sides. character. You know, and he's got character, and he's got a lot of up tines. That's what I like. Right. I mean, and look at that. Yeah. Oh, he's just gorgeous. He's posing for the camera like that. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. There's another buck in here. That sucker right there, that beautiful deer, who is that? Uh, that's yellow 978. Okay. It's a perfect dream son over an overnight daughter. That's a really pretty deer, but yep. oh, oh, oh. who is that guy right there? Oh that my is goodness. Showcase, we're calling him Showcase. Just beautiful son of Overnight Express. So his pedigree is Overnight Express on Monarch on Two Wide's Womb Sister. Uh, Blue One is her tag number. Really has He's got the look. Has the look, the tines. And he the, got the pedigree. His, his brow tines are very unique and impressive, and just love everything about him. Oh yeah, look at him. He is. He's showcasing right now. Okay, so that the deer's name again is Showcase. Yep. Going to have semen available in him. Yes, sir. We'll have semen available. We're going to sell some bread doughs out of them as well. Ooh, really? Yes, sir. Would you, in, as a breeder, doing what you do, rather have more buck fawns born or doe fawns? Doe fawns. Isn't that? Doe fawns. Yeah. Okay. And, and almost every breeder is going to say, buck fawns, buck fawns. Right. But tell them why. There's always been this goal to raise the perfect female that you can do so much with, right? That's if you're lining up a certain mother, and we'll talk about bucks that share different, you know, the similar bottom sides or whatever, but I don't think you're ever satisfied on that pursuit of perfection because I don't, I don't think it exists, but every breeding is done in hopes of getting a doe fawn. 
All right, so this guy right here, 908, who is that? That's a, uh, a three-year-old, his Empire Sunset on Super Dandy. So that's, that's one of our first offspring out of Super Dandy daughters that we've had. And he, I mean, lines up, big time typical. Okay, what well, gets me, I think, and we're gonna go back and show these deer. I mean, like Dos Ancho was a industry changer. Okay, he certainly changed this farm big time, had will have a permanent impact, but Super Dandy did too. Yes, Look at that, in his pedigree. It's super dandy. It's so fun, and, and you know we believe in these in these deer. We're not, you know, we, we breed their daughters, and we get a lot of sons that have the looks. And when we do, you know, we try like we talked about. We try to to make the same on a female side, and then you take that and breed it to some other buck, and uh, that's a producer, and you get that. Then you, as a rancher, that you want to buy deer to put on your ranch, that's what you get. That's right. <laughs> and last but not least. The guy with the big drop time. Yep. We had two drop times until about a month ago and he, he busted one off, but that is, that's Yellow Tag 942. He is high heat on Express on Touchdown's Womb Sister. And he's, he's got a typical frame. He has a, a drop time. I love his look. Oh, he's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And three? He's a stud. He's a three-year-old. Yes, sir. Yeah, you've got semen still available from Dos Ancho yep. and Super Dandy and you know, all these old bucks that you've used, I call yep. them basically foundation deer now. Right. But as far as these, these younger bucks, yep. see them available on all of them? We'll stuff? collect them all uh, in October, early November this year and have it available. So there'll be breeders all over the country breeding with this stuff. Yep. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by Big Time Whitetails and Exotics, LE Fence, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feeds, UVC Power Sports Tractors and Outdoors, and by New Dart. Deer and Wildlife Stories will be right back. Closed captioning is brought to you by Advanced Deer Genetics. All right, so I can look at him and I know immediately who that is, but tell everybody who he is. That's Super Dandy at 10 years old. Look at that, a 10 year old deer. Yep. That's, that's a, right there, pretty cool. And what I like about it is most places you go to, you're not gonna see a 10 year old breeder buck. Right. Okay. And uh, I mean, the reason why is because they either sold them uh, or they didn't live that long. Uh -huh. Okay. But you're never gonna sell him, are you? Never. He, no. he will stay here forever. Yeah. He's, well, and, and he's made a special, part of this farm. I yep. mean, the, your deer, your program wouldn't be what it is without Super Dandy in it. No, and, and that's what's fun. You know, we're seeing sons of his, we're seeing bucks that are out of his daughters uh, that are that are kind of shining in the pens. And so- and Hold on, some of his daughters are on ranches in Texas, right? That's right. Absolutely. And so he has sold the, the, his daughters, uh, bred daughters, because you're gonna, the, those yep. daughters are gonna be bred. So you come out here and you pick another deer and, and say, you know, I want that line up and, uh, but he's 10 years old and he's alive and he's healthy and he's still got a beautiful look. He's kind of getting gnarly, Yeah. but, but that's what he's happens when character. they get 10. Yeah, he's added some character. Yeah. He, his mother was one of the does we picked up. It was a certain line that we were going after and, and it works, it's not random. You know, this the production on these females, it's consistent. And speaking of consistent, I want to show a video of the very first time we came out here. Okay, because this is the fourth time we've been out here to Big Rack Ranch and we've filmed Super Dandy every single time. And so you can take a look at these different clips and see he's really consistent. He's kept that same look. It's just, like I said, now at 10 years old, you can see he's starting to show his age. Yep. But uh, what a heck of a deer. He's always been the king of tines. He's, he's always put really long he tines. Puts it in. out there. So tell everybody his pedigree. So he's Shadow on Monarch on Yankee Doodle Dandy. And Yankee Doodle Dandy was a, was a famous doe here in Texas, but she's the mother of a famous buck called Bambi 727. And that's a, a doe line that we really wanted to go after. We ended up buying two direct daughters of Yankee Doodle Dandy, um, and they do, both produce incredibly well. And Super Dandy's mother uh, was was here for over 10 years, um, and just everything out of her was great. He's a beautiful deer, and I think the, the cool thing is, is if you're a potential buyer of deer to put on your piece of property, you're not gonna find a guy anywhere in the state, and I'm not just saying it because you're here, but find anybody that's more knowledgeable about pedigrees and performance and consistency of a pretty clean, typical deer than John Tripp. So give them a phone number, how they can contact you. 214-679-1776. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by 
Union Hill Whitetails, the North American Deer Registry, New Dart, and the North American Deer Farmers Association. For more videos on deer farming, check out the Deer Farming Channel on YouTube. Now some great information on fencing from our friends at LE Fence. So I got the guys over here doing some fence work and uh, I want to tell you when you're doing fence work around deer you need to be dealing with people that know how to not just do fences and do a good job with that but work around deer and that's the reason why I've got the folks from LE Fence over here. They office out of Central Texas but they do fences all over the country but the one thing that's cool about the guys at LE Fence is the fact that they can come into a deer farm and erect the fence and get done real quick. And they've got a saying at LE Fence, you know when they work to? They work from can to can. So anyway, in other words, they work to get it done and they're getting it done all in one day here. All right, so I can look at that deer right there and tell that's sitting pretty, right? Yes, sir. He's oh, got a very God. unique look year after year. Yeah, and so we filmed him at two years old. Yep. Okay, really when he is coming out. Yep. Okay. Sitting pretty is now how old? Eight? He's eight years old this year. Oh, my gosh. He's really basically got the same look. He's very consistent every year. Kid Dynamite's son, Kid Dynamite on WoW, on Flair's mom. So when you wind up, uh, you look, take a look at the last 20 years of using DNA, to be able to make decisions on breeding, you were well into the decision-making process when you made Sitting Pretty. Right. I mean, you pretty much, I mean, you lined up the, the dam and the sire yep. together. His, to you know, his sense. his grandmother, uh, her name was Daisy. She she had a lot of good bucks for us, pretty bucks. I mean, in uh, in the deer breeding world, there's uh, we talk about uh, line breeding. And line breeding, I mean, it works. I mean, it works, but when it doesn't work, it's inbreeding. Right. It's, it's basically the same thing. Okay, so you don't want to breed these animals too tight. Right. Okay, I mean, it's okay to breed them tight, but not too tight. And so when you get an outcross, you get something like that, and that's, that's pretty doggone right, right, cool. Right. We try to line breed as much as we can because you end up getting a very consistent look. For us, it's always been about creating that perfect female, right? We're trying to line breed certain traits or certain females, certain mothers, certain producers in there. And if you can get her in there a couple of times, great. Then you've got a, an opportunity to take that and outcross it. And that, that cross is where you get your, your big explosion of look and, and, and size. Okay, so we talk about females now. All right, we're gonna show you a lot of bucks. And, and of course, you watch the show to see the bucks, but these bucks would not be uh, possible without the females. And so I wanna kinda show some clips of some females. I mean, you've got, uh, for every one of these bucks that we're gonna show you, you've got their mom or their yep. sister out here. And those are the ones that really, the ranchers that are looking at this show that are thinking, okay, I wanna stop my, my place with some pretty deer pretty typical consistent deer that are going to produce for years and years and years and have longevity. Uh, these females right here will get it done. Absolutely. John's going to help you. He's going to help you make breeding decisions based upon what you like. And so, you know, most people that deal with John want the pretty consistent typical look. Okay, and he'll help you make a decision as far as who do you want those does bred to. And then after those does are bred, those does are going to get delivered in around February. Okay, so there, uh, there's one in the oven, so to speak. There's two in the oven. <laughs> so, so when you buy one, you're going to get two or three at, at the same time. So, that's that's cool. Now, there's another buck in here with them. That uh, this is an industry changer. And tell everybody who that is. That's Mariachi. He's a four-year-old this year. We're so blessed to have him. He checks every box, in in my opinion, of what a buck should look like, and he's about as close to perfect as they come. Tell everybody what his pedigree is. He's a witch doctor son, and his mother is a Dos Sancho daughter. Dos Sancho, as I mentioned earlier, was such an important piece of this, of this facility. I mean, he has stamped this facility forever, and Mariachi's the first buck born out of a Dos Sancho daughter, and Dos Sancho, is a, his father's name's Too Wide, um, which was a buck that was just, you know, 36 inches wide and just amazing. And that's what, that's what Mariachi is. He, he goes back to, you know, he's, he's, he's witch doctor on Dos Sancho, on Express, on Monarch, on Two Wide's Womb Sister. He's absolutely gorgeous, and he was born here. Yes, sir, born here. That's, and, and that's saying something. I mean, when you've got uh, more than 20 years of breeding experience here, but you've got this wealth of knowledge that's in this man's head and in Tom's head about, about who to breed with who and why. 
I mean, you mentioned blue one, you mentioned all these different deer. I mean, it's just, it's mind boggling. But to John, because he's had 20 years with the registry working with these animals and studying them and getting to know people, he knows what to expect as far as production goes. It, it's so rewarding when a buck grows into his pedigree, right? I mean, it's, it's everything on paper lines up for that buck to be a star. And um, it's so rewarding to see it play out like it has with him. Everything has lined up perfectly on him, obvious. I mean, he's absolutely, he is the look to me that, that most people in the industry, most people that are buying deer to stock on their ranch, that's what they're looking for right there. I mean, that's, that's beautiful. So, semen available? Semen's available, and, and I'm excited to, to kind of watch who breeds him this year because we've sold quite a bit. Um, leading through the summer as he's grown out again. He, he grew out uh, almost identical to last year. I mean, he, he's a little bigger uh, this year, but he just kept that same exact look, very consistent. Well, you, you think about this, you, you take a look at sitting pretty in this same pen. Okay, he's kept that look consistent. We showed you earlier, we showed you Super Dandy at 10 years old. I mean, right. Super Dandy, I mean, he may be, he's old, he's starting to show his age, but he's still got those long tines right. and that super look. So consistency is really important when you're buying deer or when you're breeding deer. And so if somebody wants more information about coming out here to take a look at your deer or, or to purchase semen, yep. how do they get a hold of you? 214-679-1776. That right there is absolutely perfect. These, Look at that. Yep. What a perfect deer. <laughs> okay, so you've got property and you're wanting to build. Maybe a barn dominium, maybe deer facilities, or maybe a badass lodge. Well, you've got to check out Rafter P Construction. Rafter P Construction is the leading design build contractor across the state of Texas. Specializing in quality farm and ranch design build projects, Rafter P Construction encourages their customers to be very hands on incorporating your input into every aspect of your project with their in-house design teams. The goal of Rafter P Construction is to be your builder for life. Rafter P Construction, they'll be with you every step of the way to build your dream project. All the while, keeping quality and customer satisfaction at the forefront.